Hello everybody, Shogun into 1000 Evil Pony for Duty, welcoming you back to another episode of my Bullion Diamond Hoop Lock Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we got to Failstone City, and I immediately made one heck of a mistake. And that mistake was that I accident well, I used TMs when I wasn't supposed to because my brain distinctively thought I was only allowed I was saying no that the challenge I was in the middle of doing was I'm not allowed to use healing items but I'm allowed to use everything else but then I had a look at the um challenge on the wheel and it did actually say, can't use healing items or TMs. And when it dawned on me that I wasn't allowed to use TMs and I used TMs, I had to release a Pokemon in my party and so I had to release Cranny Dose. But moving that aside, this episode we're going to be battling Maylene, the Fighting Tide Gym Leader. And, yeah, I, I took the liberty of healing in the Pokemon Center last episode. And I went back and did these puzzles off camera. So. Let's do this. I actually do like how you can see the gym leaders in animation rather than how the gym leaders were always like in the past from generations one up to four. Okay, that was weird. She was doing that animation and immediately went straight back to her standing pose. <coughs> okay, meditate, you're immediately gone. Now for the Machoke. I'm pretty sure that Maylene's Pokemon does not carry any items at all, including her Lucario. Oh, ow. Ooh, that's bad. I'm taking the risk. I'm taking the risk. Okay, risk worth taking. Right. <clears throat> okay, Lucario. Oh, no, you have in a focus, don't you? I'm going to have to play it safe and go for Grodel. Right, let's go for Curse, because we need to raise my defensive stats. I'm only going to use the one, though. Okay, that's actually kind of bad. I'm going to take a risk here. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. That's now put me at negative three defense. No, I definitely can't take a risk with that. I definitely can't. Oh, 
you don't have inner focus. Then what's your other ability that you can carry? Jeez, I don't know now. I actually don't know. Because I know your hidden ability is justified. Right, let's go for a supersonic. Okay. Gary's knocked out. Uh, Mew. Okay, the Screech missed, which is good. Can we get the burn? No. Okay, good, good, good. Okay. We did lose Subat, unfortunately. Ah. Now she's going to heal this turn. <clears throat> Come on, Wilson. We need the burn, please. Oh, my God. When a move has a 10% chance of something happening, you never get it. Like, ever. Oh, my God. Maylene. I can't even use healing items. That means you shouldn't either. There we go. Okay, good. We got the burn. So this next flamethrower will definitely knock out Lucario. She finally got the hit with the Screech. So let's see. Lucario. It was steadfast. So if the Pokemon was to flinch, it would boost his speed. So that was your other ability. Sorry, Gary. I did actually need the sacrifice play. And you were the lowest level Pokemon. I do actually love Crobat. I honestly do. But I will say... I can theoretically catch another one. But it's probably in the best... Best for me to not do that. Actually, no. Never mind. The rules specifically say that if I lose a Pokemon, I can't use it at all, regardless of what evolution line it's in. So if I lost Subat, I can no longer use Golbat and Crobat. So, yeah, I can't catch myself another Subat or Golbat. Yeah, I, I need to recap myself on the rules. I really do. But there you go, we got Luxray. Okay, there we go. That definitely could have got a lot worse, honestly. But it works out in the end. Oh yeah, we've unlocked Mystery Gift because we got at least three gym badges. 
Otherwise, you'd have to go into Jubilee Village and get it yourself. I keep forgetting about that because there's no longer mystery gifts happening at all. But then again, there was a mystery gift from the moment you first got the game. But... Yeah, um... Hang on. Yeah, Sassy Nature, that's not really ideal for a fast Pokemon. Right, uh, let's bring Harrier back in. And... Let's bring Boneri back. And we'll give... We'll give Tigre a little bit of a rest. Tigre's been working so hard. It's about time... For my best friend to actually get a nice long rest. Because I'm sure that battle would have left significant scars. But anyway, new challenge time. We are ruling out this since, well, that was what the challenge we did last time. So yeah, we lost three Pokemon in that, which is heartbreaking, but we have to move on. Okay. Can only catch first Pokemon on each route. That's technically not that bad. Because... Um, let's bring up the town up real fast. There's not really any Pokemon for us needing to be caught in Route 210 and Route 215. Plus, we only have... Route 214 and Route 213 to go through before going to where the next gym is. So, this means the very first Pokemon I find in a route, I have to catch it unless it's Dupes Claws slash Species Claws. So, basically, if we happen to find a Starly, Staravia, Staraptor, a Mew, which, by the way, you, you can't really find a Mew in the wild in this game, a Marchop, Marchog, Marchomp, Boneri, Lopini, the starter Pokemon not including, a Bidoof, B-Barrel, Geodude, Graveler, Golem, Abra, Kadabra, Alakazam, Shinx, Luxio, Luxray, Shellos, Gashadon, Swablu Altaria, which is only in the Grand Underground, Magikarp Gyarados, Meditite Medicham, and Darachi. We cannot catch any Pokemon in these species if we encounter them in the wild. We are allowed to instantly run away from them. Right. Let's help Lucas. Right, okay. Standard wing attack on Dust Talks. Beautifly, we don't have any worry about. Oh, wow, really?
At least the disarming force is gonna finish off the dust top. Wow. Just wow. Right, okay. We'll go for a standard area lace on Krogan because um Stunky That's definitely gonna need to have a little bit of a ganging up arm. Uh, Harriet, um, if you use yawn, you'll keep making me yawn. Right, now wing attack on the stunky. But now to learn baton pass. Um, I don't think that's going to be helpful because Martha doesn't have any stat boosting moves. Right, let's get the HM move for fly. So, we can technically fly to anywhere we want. And there is actually somewhere I do want to fly to real fast. I want to fly to Floroma Town. Because of an item behind this tree. Uh, the teacher did train this school and like to give you a little special lesson before. When you get snow that you wince a bit, it's the same for the Pokemon. The moo Oh! Oh, okay. I didn't even think that team was even in this game. I was pretty sure that she actually gives you a TM, but I thought that the TM originally was known to be a tract. Part of me is actually willing to believe that. Right, let's just... Um, roll these around a bit more. There we go. Uh, Staravia will switch you out for... Actually, no, we won't switch you out for Chopper Ball because... We're entering Route 214, and the very first trainer that we'll meet there will specialize in using psychic type Pokemon.
Oh, there, I forgot. A psychic type Pokemon. Uh, no, sorry. A psychic type Pokemon trainer who uses a ghost type. And of course, if the AI has a chance to be in fixed status condition, they will abuse using it on the first turn all the freaking time. Grodo is actually one level away from evolving. You are definitely not a psychic type trainer if you only have one psychic type on your team. And two ghost types. Right, I will definitely say, in that cave, you're definitely going to be able to get a new encounter from my current, uh, current standard. Because I know you can only get two Pokemon in there, one of which being uh, Geodude, the other one being Hippopotas. And I just realized something. Um... Right, I'm going to save right here, and I'm going to go into Pokemon Home. Because remember what I said about um, the unknown in episode 48? Yeah. Um, I actually have all of the unknown in my Legends Arceus, and I forgot to deposit them in Pokemon Home to then deposit them into Brilliant Diamond. So, we'll go to Legends Arceus real fast. So, here are the shinies that I caught. As well as all of these ones over here. And I also kept a shiny Hijurian Sora as a trophy. Because I absolutely love that shiny. So there we go. Here are all your unknowns. You got A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T U V W X Y Z explanation mark and question mark. You are guaranteed to find all of these forms that are sat out in the open legends Arceus. So just take note of that. They're found in one specific location, and it's up to you to figure out where they are. And if you think I'm going to be using the unknown in the Nuzlocke, hell no! I don't even give a damn about unknown. Knowing the fact that they can only carry the move Hidden Power and is random what the Hidden Power's typing actually is. So there we go. Now that we've done that, we'll go back into Brilliant Diamond.
Yeah, there's actually a reason why I'm doing it. Doing this. Um, first and foremost, head inside here. There you go. If you went inside here originally, it would only go up to here. But owning every single letter in the alphabet, and you'll be able to go down this long, steep tunnel. I already have your Geodude, so I can't catch ya. But, I will experience Grind off you. Alright, well you got sturdy video. Oh, Alright, that works. Oh, somewhere else I'm probably supposed to go back to. I just realized. Another Geodude. Oh, no, there you go. Hippopotas. Will always be known to carry the ability stand stream, which can be a hindrance unless you're using other ground types. But... On the plus side, um, the sandstorm only stays for five turns. Right, okay. Fortunately, we can actually heal our Pokemon now. Feels good to do that again. Oh, great. That's the worst. Dealing with sandstorm crippling damage as well as the sand tomb. I'm actually amazed that nobody actually does that in competitive battling, actually. But then again, I'm not surprised because every time I do competitive Pokemon battles, it's just a case of... Oh! I'm actually going to use an entire team of legendaries that are impossible to be killed. Every time. You literally have 1,010 Pokemon. Why not make the most out of them? Instead of just being like, we have over 970 odd Pokemon. But the only ones that we care about are Pokemon like Mewtwo. Ho ho, Lugia, Kyogre, Groudon, Rayquaza, and all those other legendary Pokemon. It is ludicrous and downright stupid for anybody to think that the best team to use is a team that consists of using legendary Pokemon because they're known to be ridiculously strong. Compared to other Pokemon that you see more common than the legendaries. Right, there we go. Um, we'll nickname you Manny. Let's have a look. Oh, that's an awful nature. Yeah, you want a you want a uh, physical attack. Plus nature for Hippopotas, honestly. Minus physical attack can be a hindrance. But we got no choice. We have to accept that one. We can't catch any more in this area now. We have actually going, gone over the time limit. So, I guess we'll just end things off for this episode, everybody. So next time on my Brilliant Diamond Hooplock Nuzlocke, we will make it to the end of this tunnel to show exactly the reason why I got every single form of unknown in Legends Arceus and traded them over to here. Alright? See you guys. Then, oh my gosh. I just realized it's glaring on the TV screen. You can hardly see my character. I'm sorry about that. But nothing I can do to fix it, unfortunately.